Well, the big guns are starting to pack up and head north for the winter with the Queensland Harness Racing Carnival on our doorstep with Ricky Orchard already in the Sunshine State. Blinda and Luke McCarthy have a very strong team heading north. Caught up with Luke to discuss their chances at Albion Park on Saturday night and also their runners here at Club Menangle. We'll organise a team of horses in at Albion Park on Saturday night. The second event we see Muscle Bark go around. Yeah, he won well here last week, Mike, and um, just thought it was a good opportunity to take him up and race him at Albion Park and you know, hopefully can pick up a few Saturday night class races. Over to race four, and this time last year, Luke can't find a better man. The former Kiwi stamped himself as a potential star, and he's heading back north. Yeah, he's um, he had a couple of runs here. He, he was two for two, then he, he's had a, another couple of trials. He trot good here um good here the other day just by a major meister who's obviously open company and you know he's we, we're really happy with him and hopefully he can do a good job while he's in queensland also kingmaker's in the race luke he finished seventh last time only five meters from his star stable mate bondi lockdown yeah he's a nice horse he'd sort of worked through his grades quite quickly here in sydney and you know he's done a good job but thought give him a little bit of an opportunity up there through the winter not so much the top races but there's some good undercard races on while we're up there. Over to race nine, the stand and Expensive Ego will be having his first stand start experience officially. Did trial nice under those conditions? Yeah, we're happy with the way he stepped here at the trials and we just thought look, we'll give him an opportunity, you know, at that sort of race and um, see how he goes. If he stepped away well and we're happy with him, we'd look towards the Redcliffe Cup. So look, strong representation. They're also a strong team heading to a club and angle on Saturday night in the opening event. No time like now and just as well. Yeah, um, no Tom Light now, probably need another need a run under his belt and um, just as well, she actually surprised us a little bit last week, she came out one and was first up off a freshen up so she might, might be one of the mares that just goes good fresh but you know she's got good gate speed, I'm sure she'll race well again. The second event, Three Rivers continues to be competitive. Yeah, it was a good second here last week behind Heaven on High and um, whatever race he goes in he's, he's usually thereabouts. The free for all is going to be an absolute crack of the might of the McCarthy stable up against the powerful Grimson team. Throw in Mahomes, and this is going to be an outstanding event. Artillery, Mac Shard, and of course the ultimate professional, Alta Orlando. Yeah, all our old retiree boys, and they're, they're still making money. So, you know, look, they're not our top seeded ones. So, yeah, you know, Grimson's ones look probably hard to beat. But, you know, Alta's got that gate speed. He always puts himself in a good spot. Artillery going along very strongly, and Mac Shard caught the eye last time out behind South Coast Arden. Yeah, they're both going good. It's just, um, you know, they're getting old and they're not they're not as good as they once were, but they, you know, they still run good races and make money for the owners. Yeah, just slow down on getting old, will you? Into uh, the seventh event and Moonwalker was going to be in the finish to some extent, but broke. Yeah, he just made a mistake his last two. He changed his back shoes and he trolled his Saturday and went good, so hope that's done the trick. And James Rat race fell, looks really hard to beat, but hopefully he can come out and run a good race. Luke Major Jealous has drawn wide for the final event, but does drop in grade. Yeah, he went really good here last time he dropped in grade when Henriksen drove him, come from last, just got beat. So, yeah, he sort of goes best driven like that. It's hard to win from 10 going all the way back, but, yeah, he's actually going pretty good and I'm sure he'll run a good race again. That doesn't mean the day you expected when you arrived here at Club and Angle this afternoon. Luke, can we expect better from uh, the team on Saturday night and which do you think is the strongest? Yeah, I didn't expect too much today, to be honest. I think Cash is still a bit fat, but... um. Yes, yeah, Saturday in Sydney, it's pretty tough actually. Um, yeah, maybe Major Jealous each way for the punters. And um, in Brisbane, I'd stick with Can't Find a Better Man. Luke, thanks very much for your time. Thank you.